Michael Wilson is a young photographer with an already illustrious career. When he's not touring the world, he is capturing beautiful images through his camera in New England. He joins us now to talk about some of his projects. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. This is awesome. Well, let's start with sort of the latest project, which is pretty impressive here. You spent some time in northern Maine with loggers. Yeah, spent mostly Fort Kent area in the Allagash Wilderness. That's region, if you will, up there. It's a very big region, so it's hard to keep track of exactly where we were traveling, but yes, in most of northern Maine. How much time did you spend with these guys? I spent about a week. Uh, I spent about four days up there. I spent a couple of days in Biddeford. There was an outfit in Biddeford that was working on a job as well, so I tried to span the state as best I could. What was sort of the goal? What were you looking to capture? Um, I really wanted to show the people and the people still doing it. I think that I was reading a lot of articles about mills closing and the state of the industry, but what I wasn't reading is about the people who were still doing the job. Um, and I just, for me, I thought it was very fascinating to think about who are the people that are doing this work? Who are the people that are out there running the machines and what are their lives like? And so I really wanted to just focus on portraits of people in their lives we're doing work. And we're seeing some of the images right, right now. Why portraits? Why are portraits so important for you as a photographer? Uh, that's a really interesting question. I think that for me portraits are valuable, so valuable because it's really a way for us to connect with each other. I think that we sort of get lost in that in a digital age. I mean we see pictures all the time on our phones, we fly through them, but it's, it, I think that you can connect with somebody in a photograph even though you don't know that person and I think that that's for me as a photographer is always like the ultimate goal to be able to make that connection, to help strangers make that connection. How was it for you making that connection with these guys? I mean, these are, you know, some tough, rugged guys who probably don't love having their picture taken. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. I, um, I am not a tough, rugged guy, so for <laughs> me, I think it was, I think there's a level of fascination. For me, that's what I enjoy about portraits, is that I get to learn about somebody's life and about their work. And I ask a million questions, sometimes to a fault, I think. Um, I think they responded well. I think the people who I was able to photograph were open to the idea. I think they were kind of excited that there was somebody there who was interested in it and, and there to make portraits of them. You had um, some of these photos hanging in the Press Hotel, but what's really interesting is having it printed on newsprint with pulp that came from the U.S. and likely from Maine. Why yeah. was that important? Uh, this, so the whole project actually started with the idea, I had this idea for a newspaper of portraits of loggers in Maine, and so that's how it sort of got started. The press show was something that was the sort of spark that lit that fire. Um, I really wanted to kind of tie it all back together where it's like here's some portraits of people who very well may have cut the wood that ended up getting turned into pulp, which printed their portraits, th that their portraits were printed on rather. And for me, I think that's such a fascinating sort of tying it all back together. You yourself have had a fascinating career. You have kind of traveled the world. You've done photographs for National Geographic, lots of really interesting places that you have been to. What is it that brings you back to New England? Um, I, my wife's family actually is from New England, and I grew up outside Chicago, and in middle school we had to do a, a speech on a state for our speech class. And the teacher said, do you want, does anyone want to choose a state? And I was like, I want Maine. And she said, oh, okay. And I had never been to Maine. I had never even been to the East Coast at that point. But when I looked at a map, it was literally all green. It was all forest. And I was so fascinated by that. So I think that that's actually what brought, brought me to Maine, is that there is all this forest that's here. And so I think that this project also sort of holds a special place for me, because it was like, I got to go explore that thing that I originally wanted to come here for to begin with. So when you're traveling through the state, are you kind of just pulling over and stopping when you see something absolutely beautiful or? Sometimes, I, um, I, I'm not a great landscape photographer. There's people in the state that make it look like the most beautiful thing on <laughs> earth. Um, I, if I see an interesting person or usually if I'm like at a diner or I stop at a gas station, there's an interesting person and you know, I approach them and just start talking to them. It is astonishing how receptive people can be when you approach them with kindness and questions and then ask them to be photographed. And I would say 99% of people are like, yeah, sure, I'd entertain that. Some have, some have more ability to say like, yeah, this is, sounds like it's really fun. And other people are like, I guess, I'm not really sure what this is for. And occasionally people say no, but yeah, so I mostly pull over for people. I was gonna say a lot of your work, and I think we have more to show, um, is portraits of people. And are you in many cases posing people or are you just kind of feeling out their life? Sometimes, um, 
sometimes it, this picture is a great example. This was actually an Instagram picture that somebody had put up in a similar fashion, uh, who was a friend of mine, who I then immediately contacted. And I said, can we recreate this? Um, it was something about sometimes people will, especially with Instagram now, with social media, people will show you a little bit of their life. And you're like, that could be a stronger picture, for example. And so then you're like, let's recreate that. Um, I think, yeah, it's really about trying to capture like a slice of life in one picture. So there is a lot of posing that happens. There's a lot of uh, talking that goes into it, constantly talking. Um, but yeah, I think that's ultimately what it, what it works out to be. This is a great shot. Oh, was this sort of, did this just kind of happen? Was this organic? Um, yes, this was actually part of a story for Down East Magazine about the Appalachian Trail that I shot last summer. Um, we had pretty much gotten what we needed from the shoot. And on our way out, I said to Victoria, who was the ridge runner, I was like, oh, wait, stand here for a second. And she turned, and the wind just blew her hair across her face. And, it was like, and I actually, I remember saying to her, I said, I'm going to take this picture. This is for me, though. I'm not going to use it for anything. And it's become one of my favorite pictures. It was one of my favorite pictures in the story. It's become one of my favorite portraits. It's just such a, I don't know, I felt like it was such a moment for her. And she was in a great spot, and I was in a great spot. And it was just like, it was like everything coalesced in one picture, which was really nice. Really incredible photography. Michael well, thank Wilson, you. thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Our pleasure. And we will be right back.